Hi everybody, Jared Collier here. In this video, we're going to set up an AdWords script or a Google Ads script, whatever you'd like to call it. What this script does is it manages your campaign budget for you daily. And I'm going to show you how to set it up in this video. So when would you use this? A very common scenario when you work at an agency, for example, is when your client gives you a certain amount of budget and it's your job to spend that, not go over, not go under. So you have a target budget you need to hit and you don't wanna manage the budget manually, figuring out where you're at, how much is remaining and all that stuff. So this script is gonna help you if you want to hit your target budget, which most people do. So let's get started. I have these scripts. So I don't have just a bid uh, budget management scripts. I have multiple bud budget management scripts, but I also have bid management scripts. And we're going to implement the single campaign budget management script. And we're not going to use the Google Drive version. This is just going to be the straight single campaign budget management script. And this will allow us to change our budget based on what we've spent, how much is remaining, how much time is left, and so on. In this folder, this is where you compartmentalize all your different clients. So if you have a client named, you know, um, Keyboard Y, I don't know why I'd be named that, then this is where you would put a folder for them. And then if you have a client called Widgets Inc, you'd put a folder for them. So you wanna separate your clients give them their own namespace or folder or directory, however you want to think about that. And inside these folders, we're going to put the templates. I'll get to that here in a minute. Scripts. These are JavaScript scripts. You do not need to touch these or worry about these. All of the AdWords scripts reference this section. So it's kind of like a brain center for those scripts. Okay? Don't worry about it. Don't touch it. Don't change it. Don't even open it. Shared templates. Let me give you an example of the template we are going to be implementing. This is called the single campaign budget management sheet. Notice I do have a shared budget management. Also some other MCC or manager bid and budget management templates and so on. Let's click this to get an idea for what it looks like. So here's how it works. It says, this is today's date. This is hard coded. Notice that it says 726, but here we have a formula. This will just calculate the, the first day of the current month, and this calculates the last day in the current month. We are currently at 10-19-2019. Now, not to get bogged down into the details, but if we do some function like today, it says 10 2019, when in reality it's 10 19 2019. So you can go to File, Spreadsheet Settings, make sure your time zone is correct. So for me, I'm going to look in, let's see if I can find it real quick, Pacific Time. This works and save settings. So notice it changed my date to 10-19-2019, which is correct. So here is the basic template. This is what you can use to manage your campaign budget. We're going to implement this right now. So what we're going to do is come back here and I'm gonna right click this. What we wanna do is create a copy. So make a copy and it's going to be called this template, and then copy. Now just for the sake of, um, let's move it into this client folder for now. Some people may lose access. That's totally fine because this is a copy of it. And now remember what I said about the client folder. We want to create a new folder. So I'm right clicking new folder. I'm going to type myself because this is in an account for me. Then I'm going to drag and drop this into myself. 
but obviously you wouldn't name it myself unless you're doing this personally. Now let's rename this. And what I like to do for a convention is just rename it and remove the copy of, and then I name it whatever the client name is. So I'll just say me, whatever, doesn't matter. But you would put your client name here or perhaps the campaign that this is managing. So let's open this up. It's 1019. The first day in the current month is 101. The last day is 1031. So this is the budget amount. How much money do we want to spend per month? Let's say I want to spend, well, let's say $10 times, you know, 30.4. So let's just say it's $300, $10 a day on average. So the minimum campaign budget, this amount sets a minimum. So we don't want to spend anything less than this number. I'm just going to put uh, $1 for now. Weekend spends. So how much to spend on the weekend? You can put this at 100% to spend evenly on the weekends, or you could put it at zero because some businesses are not open during the weekends. And you don't have to use the script to handle that. You could actually just use ad scheduling, but this is another way to basically manage that. And then this tells the script, this is kind of a complex feature to discuss, but if you set it below a number one, it's going to spend it slower. And if you crank it higher than 1.0, so like 1.1, 1.2, it's going to try to spend your budget faster in the front end of your current month. And then that'll leave less for the later part. So it's a way of basically allocating more or less to the beginning or ending of the current month. We want to keep it simple. We just want to understand what this script can do. So we're going to just put 1.0. So the campaign name, you come here, click edit, grab the campaign name. Now this script here is only controlling the budget for a single campaign. That's why it's called single campaign budget management sheet. So I notice what it did, just put that text there and it says cost month to date. These numbers will change when we calculate this and it logs it for us so we can keep track. Now over here, it's interesting that some different other countries, they have, they have different weekends. So it's not on Saturday or Sunday. That was something I learned when I created this script and some customers were reaching out like, hey man, that's not my weekend. And so you can change the definition of what your weekend is here if needed. Okay, so this tells you a, like a kind of a interpretation message, if you will. So now we have our, our sheet set up. We need to go into the AdWords scripts. We need to grab this single campaign budget management script. And then we need to come into our account. We go up into tools and then we go to under bulk actions, we go to scripts. Seems like there's already one there. So let's actually just go ahead and edit this one. We'll start fresh. Okay, so this first variable is the link to this spreadsheet. See this GID equals zero? Don't change that, keep that on the link. We paste that link there. The next one is the sheet name. So what's cool about this is you can copy this sheet and create a new one. And you can use, a, use this same exact script, another instance of it, to reference a different sheet within the same workbook. So that's pretty cool, just keeping it all in one spot bot basically. This is called budget one. I'm just going to copy and paste. And you want to copy paste. Here we want to not send anything so I'm going to leave that blank. And then this other stuff you don't have to worry about. Remember I said there was some there was that scripts folder? Well that's what this is referencing. And 
th that's it. So we've set this up. Let's click preview. And that should tell us a log of what's happening. Down here we have logs. So what it's going to do is actually going to talk to Google Drive. It's going to say we need permissions. See how it said budget amount. See, it didn't ask me to change to allow permission. That's kind of odd. Most of the times you're going to see it say, I need permission. If you do, just accept the permission and allow it if you want this script to work. So email not specified. These are the logs. It's running this and it changed the budget. So let's take a look at what it did in the preview. Notice it logged down here. So if my goal was to spend $300 per month, total spend so far for the weekly, or I'm sorry, the weekday data and the weekend data is this. So that's how much I've spent so far. This is what's remaining. And if I sum up these four here, it sums down here, you can't maybe see it, but it sums to 300. That's to be expected. So this is how much I need to spend per day over the course of the remaining days in the month. There's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 days left. My 30 day average is $5 and 10 cents. So there we go. Now, to be clear, I want to show you that it didn't actually make any changes. So let's go back here. Notice it still says $15. If I refresh this, it still says $15. Cool. That's because I did it in preview. Go back into tools, go to scripts, back into here. And this time, instead of previewing it, let's click run. And we will just say run without preview. And here it might prompt me. Um, let's see if it prompts me. Finished, completed in six seconds, one successful. Now, when I go back to my account, if I refresh this, it says 1663. And it logged a new line here. So you will probably want to remove this test preview line. And now we have our data. So the cool thing about this, like that's cool. Okay, great, big deal. Go back here, go into scripts. And this is where the real magic happens. We go to frequency here. We click edit. We say schedule daily because we want to update the budget daily. And then here we want to set the time that it updates the budget early in the morning. So I usually choose something like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., but you want something early in the morning. And then you click Save. Now, let's talk about what we've just done. What we've done is we've set up an AdWords script using a Google Drive spreadsheet that we can log how many times we're actually making budget updates and we're doing it every single day in order to hit our target spend. So this script has been a lifesaver. If you work in an agency, this script right here will help you immensely manage your workflow and automate your budget management. The next time you need to fix something or change the budget, let's say the client says, oh, we have $2,000 this month. All you have to do at the beginning of the month is come in here, change this budget to $2,000, and you won't have to touch it again as long as the budget doesn't change. So it's all about just managing this number. So I'm sitting here wondering, is there still any interest in these scripts? I used to sell them for $60 to $70, and my site got lost by GoDaddy. One day, all the files were just gone. GoDaddy had no idea. So don't use GoDaddy. But the point is, are you interested? If you are, leave a comment below letting me know that there is interest in these scripts. I have bid management scripts, budget management scripts at the account level and the MCC level or manager level. 
So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.